David Hogg, hashtag never again, a new generation draws the line. And hashtag never again, a new generation draws the line. Authors David Hogg and Lauren Hogg share their experience of a tragic school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, where 17 students and staff members died. They detailed the harrowing events of the day, their personal reactions to the tragedy, and how it ignited their determination to create change regarding gun control, inspiring the hashtag never again movement. This book summary uncovers the motives behind the movement, the events that shaped their perspectives on gun control, and their goals for the future. Parkland's Turning Point On Valentine's Day in 2018, a tragedy occurred at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, when a former student killed 17 individuals. For many, this heartbreaking incident was the tipping point. Lauren Hogg, a 14-year-old, initially thought the chaos was due to a holiday prank or a planned shooting drill, given the morning's fire drill and the expected actors with blanks. Hiding for hours, she and her classmates eventually realized the horrifying truth. Amidst the grief, her brother David and other students decided to take a stand and fight for change to protect future generations. That fateful day started full of celebration and Valentine's Day spirit. As the fire alarm went off during the last class, confusion reigned. Some students assumed it was just a prank considering the fire drill earlier in the day. Additionally, teachers had informed them of an upcoming shooting drill, featuring actors and blank rounds. Seeing fellow students running across the campus, many remained unaware of the imminent danger. Lauren, however, felt a sense of dread. Her instincts told her that something was amiss, and upon hearing shouts of, Code Red, she and her friends sought refuge in a classroom. For three terrifying hours, they stayed hidden, receiving sporadic and fragmented messages from others. In the aftermath, a safe exit led the students to the school's parking lot, where families anxiously awaited. Finally finding her father, Lauren could assess the heartbreaking reality as she saw the faces of missing friends on television. This unbearable sight urged her older brother, David, to take action. He reached out to the media, expressing the urgent need to protect schoolchildren. Like many others, Lauren, David, and their peers were raised in the shadows of the 1999 Columbine High School shooting, growing up with red code drills and the constant fear of such catastrophes. This painful experience in Parkland catalyzed their unwavering pursuit of change, ensuring that the lives of the innocent were not lost in vain. Unraveling Resilience Origin Stemming from a generation that grew up in the shadow of school shootings yet wielded the power of technology, Lauren and David's story showcases how personal experiences shape their proactive approach to combating real-world social issues. Their entrepreneurial spirit was nurtured from a young age by seizing opportunities in their neighborhood, and their attitudes towards guns were influenced by their father's responsible handling of firearms as an ex-FBI agent. Encounters with the harsh realities of gun violence resonated with the siblings, leading them to reconsider how normal this experience had become. As they grew older, their distinct ability to channel these experiences into catalyzing change became evident. As kids, Lauren and David developed a strong entrepreneurial bond in their California neighborhood. They saw opportunities amid the holiday crowds and turned cookies and bottled water into profitable ventures. Their bond set the stage for future joint endeavors in a world that demanded mindful navigation. In addition, their father's responsible gun ownership and ex-FBI background provided them with a unique perspective on firearms. Witnessing their father's careful handling of guns, they understood them as tools requiring proper care, emphasizing the importance of being responsible gun owners. Even during the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, the siblings took note of their parents' shocked reactions and realized that their school's code red drills were far from ordinary. While gun-related incidents stirred emotions, the distance between Lauren, David, and these tragic events allowed them to momentarily forget and continue their lives like so many others. However, their ability to channel personal experiences into a drive for change emerged as they grew into adults. 
Their journey exemplifies the power of personal experience in shaping one's approach to combating real-world social issues and creating a more secure and just future. Finding Purpose in Parkland When David Hogg and his family moved to Parkland, Florida, they never knew that their new school would play a vital role in shaping their understanding of the world. With hands-on courses on politics and media, David and his sister Lauren developed a strong interest in journalism and the power of news stories to make a difference. The siblings dove into various topics, from women's rights to the 2016 presidential election, and expanded their knowledge about the intricacies of gun control and the Second Amendment. Their connection with their classmates, such as Emma Gonzalez, not only fueled their awe for media but also taught them invaluable life lessons on compassion and humanity. As David reluctantly started high school in Parkland, Florida, he found himself immersed in an educational journey that extended beyond his expectations. The diverse curriculum included debate and TV production classes that caught his attention, leading him to consume news shows by commentators like Hank Green and John Oliver. This exposure inspired David to explore pressing issues, such as women's rights and the 2016 presidential election, eventually igniting his passion for learning. David and his sister Lauren both took TV production, which acquainted them with the mechanics of news cycles and the importance of journalistic integrity. A personal experience of David's, in which his footage of a lifeguard altercation led to action, reinforced his understanding of journalism's power to create change. The siblings' education went beyond the confines of the newsroom, as they learned about the complexities surrounding firearms. They dove into debates about gun control, mental health, and the ties between politics and guns. David discovered that the original purpose of the Second Amendment, which aimed to help responsible citizens bolster a government without an army, seemed to clash with the contemporary conservative argument of possessing guns as protection from government tyranny. David's friendship with Emma Gonzalez, a fellow aficionado of media, also played a crucial role in his and Lauren's growth, instilling in them the values of empathy and compassion. These lessons from their time in Parkland would prepare them for the challenges they would soon face together as advocates and changemakers. Grief ignites a movement. After the tragic shooting, Lauren's sorrow over the loss of her four close friends led her to take action. As she learned about conspiracy theories circulating online and received threatening messages, she reached out to the First Lady to address the hypocrisy of her cyberbullying initiatives. With newfound determination, Lauren joined her peers in fighting for change. On that heartbreaking night, Lauren believed she had lost two friends in the devastating shooting. Only to find out the next day that the number had doubled. These tragedy-stricken youth were not just faces in the crowd, they were unique individuals with families, friendships, interests, and dreams. Gina Montalto, for example, was a vibrant member of the school band, loved for her quirky personality. Jamie Gutenberg, a dedicated dancer with a heart full of love, had already mapped out her college and career plans. Elena Petty brought laughter to the classroom and volunteered with the Helping Hands program at her church. Lastly, Alyssa Alhadef, a talented soccer player with an infectious laugh, was the first to welcome Lauren after moving to Parkland. The sudden loss of her dear friends left Lauren feeling lost and desperate to respond to their untimely deaths. Although she hadn't seen David in the days following the tragedy, she learned that people were utilizing social media to express their feelings. Deciding to join the conversation, Lauren shared her thoughts in two tweets that emphasized the need for change over mere condolences. Around this time, conspiracy theories had emerged, accusing David of being a crisis actor and doubting the sincerity of the victims. To her shock, some of these theories were encouraged by the president's own son, Donald Trump Jr., who liked the speculative tweets. Lauren found herself facing an onslaught of threatening and abusive messages, pushing her to act. She sent a tweet to Melania Trump, challenging the First Lady's anti-cyberbullying campaign amidst the actions of her own family. As her message went viral, a fire ignited within Lauren. With a newfound sense of purpose, Lauren connected with David and discovered that he, too, had been taking action. Rallying together, they channeled their grief into a powerful force for change, turning their attention towards preventing future tragedies from occurring.
rising against gun violence. Discovering his drive to help after surviving a school shooting, David Hogg, along with other students, founded the hashtag Never Again movement and took to social media to advocate for stricter gun control. As they gained support, they faced setbacks, threats, and accusations from staunch defenders of gun rights. Unwavering, the group continued its fight, pushing for meaningful change and safeguarding young lives. David Hogg felt an unexpected call to action when he became a survivor of a tragic school shooting. At first, he mistook his drive for survivor's guilt. It wasn't until a therapy session that he realized this feeling was rooted in his desire to make a difference in the world, particularly after witnessing his sister suffering. During the attack, David recorded interviews with fellow students, capturing their raw emotions and thoughts on gun control. One interviewee confessed her change of heart, deciding not to join the NRA after surviving the horrifying experience. When Emma Gonzalez, another friend and survivor, organized a small meeting to discuss how to prevent future school shootings, David and others joined forces, forming the hashtag Never Again movement. They began their fight against the pro-gun lobby online, targeting the NRA and their associated companies, causing many to sever their ties with the organization. However, the backlash arrived swiftly. David and his sister experienced death threats and baseless conspiracy theories questioning their motives. Even though Fox TV host Laura Ingram mocked David's college rejections, a robust response from him led to several advertisers dropping their contracts and Ingram ultimately apologizing. Furthermore, the group publicly criticized Senator Marco Rubio for accepting NRA donations amounting to an estimated value of $1.05 per student's life, based on the total donations received divided by the number of students in Florida. The hashtag Never Again movement gained traction, with Emma Gonzalez's Twitter account surpassing the NRA's followers just 11 days after the tragedy, signaling that their message resonated with many, and they had no plans of backing down. Empowered youth sparked change. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas students turned their grief into action after a tragic attack, organizing the March for Our Lives protest and developing a comprehensive 10-point strategy for gun control reform. Over 800,000 people participated in the protest, helping achieve notable progress such as the lowest NRA popularity in 20 years and increased support for banning assault weapons. While their fight for change continues, these inspiring students showcased the power of community and relentless determination. Following a devastating attack at their school, the students of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas realized they couldn't wait any longer to make a difference. They took their ambition and turned it into activism, planning a massive protest to advocate for tighter gun control measures. Celebrities such as Steven Spielberg and George Clooney supported the cause, contributing to the $4 million raised through their GoFundMe campaign. On March 24, 2018, thousands gathered for March for Our Lives in Washington, D.C., with over 800 similar marches worldwide, resulting in a turnout of 800,000 in Washington alone. This powerful action has led to tangible progress. The NRA is facing its lowest popularity in two decades, and significant companies like Delta Airlines have cut ties. Furthermore, around two-thirds of Americans now support the banning of assault weapons, a first in many years. To build on this momentum, Parkland students have developed a 10-point strategy for further change. Their ambitious plan includes increasing funding for gun violence research, digitizing the ATF's records, implementing universal background checks, banning high-capacity magazines and assault weapons, funding intervention programs, introducing red flag laws, prohibiting firearms for those with domestic violence history, creating a federal solution for gun trafficking, and instituting safe storage laws and mandatory reporting of gun thefts. Another crucial element of their strategy is encouraging voter registration and participation. Each step within their 10-point plan contributes to a better understanding of gun violence and aims to save lives. As these students navigate their path to change, they demonstrate the immense power of unity and standing up for a cause. Through tragedy, they came together not only to heal their world but also to form an unbreakable family.
Through their powerful storytelling, David and Lauren Hogg demonstrate how tragedy can lead to powerful change with the emergence of the hashtag Never Again movement. Fueled by the need to protect lives and ensure the safety of future generations, the Hogg siblings and their fellow students have already made a lasting impact on the gun control debate, mobilizing widespread support and influencing public opinion. While much progress has already been made, the students are determined and focused on further change, emphasizing the importance of unity, taking action and fighting for safer communities across America.